everyone, my name is Lauren and I'm an interpreter here at Royal Botanical Gardens. Today we're going on a tour of the herbarium with curator Nadia. Wondering what a herbarium is? Let's find out. Welcome to RBG's Herbarium. Hi Nadia, thanks for showing us around today. Hi Lauren. Hi everyone. Welcome to the herbarium. To start, can you explain to us what a herbarium is? I would love to. The first thing you see when you walk in here is that we have many cabinets. So if you thought you were going to find a fresh supply of basil today, these are your first indicator that a herbarium is not where we grow fresh herbs. The plants that I love and we care for here are, are all pressed and dried. Come look inside a cabinet. All of these folders contain herbarium specimens. So what's a herbarium specimen? It's a plant that has been pressed, dried, mounted onto high quality acid-free paper, together with a label that tells us about where the plant was growing and about where and when it was collected. There's even a little envelope that we keep here just in case something breaks off of the plant and we put it inside the envelope. You recognize this plant? It looks like goldenrod. It is! This is Canada goldenrod. This is another one of my favorites. You see the number one up here? This means it was the first plant ever to have been catalogued in RBG's herbarium. The plant is a ground cedar, or the scientific name is Diphasiastrum digitatum. The person who collected it was Alexander Tansalu. RBG's first ever ecologist. He collected the plant in 1954 and he noted on his label that it was a rare plant back then. Now we don't find this species at RBG anymore. So how do plants end up in the herbarium? Can you walk us through the steps from getting a plant outside to ending up in the collection? Sure. After we've collected the plant we bring it back inside and we flatten it using a plant press. Plant press is two wooden lattices on either side and inside we have kind of a sandwich of cardboards and blotting papers and plants that we flatten in here. And then I'll take a sheet of newspaper and on the newspaper I will write down my name, the date, and what the plant is. Then I'll open that up and I will lay out my plant exactly how I want it to look when it's dry. Some leaves will go in facing up and others we flip over so that we can see the bottom of the leaf. Then we close the newspaper, put another piece of blotting paper on top so it absorbs moisture from the bottom and also from the top of the plant. And we close it up with more cardboard and the top wooden lattice. Then I take two straps so I can seal the whole press shut and I pull the straps as tightly as I can to put pressure on the plants to flatten them. Once I have all of my plants in the press, I put it inside a cabinet that has a heater in it and I let it dry in here for a few days to a week, depending on how juicy the plants were. Once they're dry, we take them out and we put them into a freezer at minus 30 degrees Celsius for a week. When they're done freezing, we bring them into the herbarium, where volunteers mount them onto archival paper to turn them into finished herbarium specimens. So once researchers can see the plant specimens, what do they use these plants to study? Here at RBG, we mostly use the herbarium to study the changes in plant biodiversity in our landscape. Remember that ground cedar specimen I showed you just earlier? Yeah, the one from 70 years ago? Right. There have been many disturbances in our landscape in the past 70 years, and RPG does a lot of habitat restoration work. Specimens like that tell us which species to plant because they used to grow here. Thank you so much, Nadia, for showing us around the herbarium today. It's amazing to think that RBG has thousands of pressed plants here that are used by scientists every day to study past and present plant life all around the world. Thanks for watching!